Hello and welcome to another video where this time we're going to create a signature or copyright brush. And being as we're going to save it as a brush, it'll make it really easy the next time you want to use it on an image. Okay, let's make a start. We're going to head over to the toolbox. I'm going to pick up the type tool. As we come down, color, it is important to have black as the foreground color. So if you've got any other colors, simply press D on the keyboard. That restores the default. Black is now the foreground color. Let's come down to tool options. I've got the type, it's the horizontal type tool. There's the font I've got selected. That's the size of the font. And there's the color that we've just set, black. And it is important for when we come to define our text as a brush. Right, if I bring my cursor out, as soon as I click down, just keep an eye on the layers panel and in goes the type layer. Now I'm going to create a signature brush. If you're going to use it for a copyright below, I'll put the shortcut that you can use to create the copyright logo. But I'm going to put in images by me. No, I won't use me, I shall use my name instead. Right, you can either click on the green tick or if you come up to the layers, notice it says layer one. But as soon as you click here, it has now changed to images by D dot dot dot. And this takes on the first few letters that you've entered for your text. Right, if I just double click, this will allow us now to edit our text. So double clicking, it's highlighted and you can see the tool options has now come back. The first thing we're going to look at is the font. Arial, italic, clicking on the downward facing arrow. There it is right at the top. It's this one. And you can see there's loads of other different fonts here as well. If I just scroll through, there are quite literally loads and loads and loads. Now, quick way of going through them, bring your cursor over it. You can see the word sample as well. And that'll give you a little bit of an idea on how it'll look. Now, if you're creating a copyright brush, you're going to want something and it's going to be yeah, simple, something like this that could do really well. Or if you're using it for a signature brush, you want something just a little bit fancier. Now scrolling through, there's some good ones here. Now another quick and easy way to scroll through them, if I just click on this one, let's come down, gonna click in the window, and that has now highlighted it in blue. We can now use the up and the down arrow on the keyboard to just scroll our way through these various fonts. But there's another way again, if you think of a font that you want to use, now for example, I think it's Lucida handwriting. So if I type in the first few letters, which is L, then U, and taking a look, there it is there. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I want to make this bigger. Now we can do it a couple of different ways. Where we've got the size, it's 45 points. Clicking on the downward facing arrow, it's off the screen. The largest we have is 72. Coming into the image, I'm going to click down, just going to drag it over into this area here, and you can see the highlight has gone off. Let's just come over to the layers panel. I'm going to switch off the background layer, getting a little bit distracting, and you need to switch it off anyway. So if you've got a background image, if you've got a, a plain document, just switch it off at this stage. Right, double click in, and it's highlighted it again. Coming down for the size, bringing my cursor over the size and you can see the way it's changed to a hand with a double arrow going through the finger indicating that if I now move it to left or right it's going to make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to take it to this region here. Now my favorite way to make the text bigger or smaller is simply to press command or control. So press and hold down command or control. Little grab handles. This is the transform tool. We can now pull it out into this region. That looks pretty good. Bringing my cursor into the center. You can move it around a bit. Just gonna make it bigger again. Great stuff, that will do nicely. Right, just clicking down to remove the highlight. Looking at it, yes, I really like images by, not so sure I like the way the font is on my name. So let's just edit one part. Gonna double click, highlighted, bringing up my text tool, my type tool, just gonna to drag it over. So we've now selected the name. Coming down, Going to click in the window again just to highlight it. Another font that I really like, it begins with B, so I'm going to type in B and it's Bickham, so it's B I. There it is right at the top Bickham Script Pro Bold and Bickham Script Pro. Yeah, this one. Sorry, I was, <laughs> I was busy looking. I thought, yeah, that looks good. This is the Bickham Script Pro Regular, so let's use this. Coming to size, going to move this across, we're going to take it up in size. 
taking it into this sort of region here just a bit more again there I want to make it slightly bigger than the text in front right click into apply double click in to highlight once again pressing command or control just going to reduce it a little bit in size so it fits on that area that we have and there that will do nicely just click in job done yes like that great stuff right for the next stage we are now going to define it as a brush but before we do that i'm going to pick up the brush tool let's come down to where it says brushes clicking on the window here make sure you've got your default brushes so click on the downward facing arrow select your default brushes and there we are because this is where your brush is going to come once defined right so where were we oh yeah text type tool coming up to edit coming down to define brush now first of all as i've always said make sure you got black make sure your text is black if it's any other color change it at this stage to black because that is important when you come to define it as a brush right clicking down there it is we brought up brush name it's given us a little bit of a sample of our text there that's the size of it asking for a name i'm going to call this uh, signature brush because that's what it is right clicking on ok job done coming over to the layers panel pressing delete on the keyboard just clicking yes and there we are let's take a look at applying our signature brush to the image first thing we need to do is put in a new layer always add it to a new empty layer coming over to the toolbox I'm going to pick up the brush tool now being as I've just created this brush it's going to show up straight away so I'm going to come down I'm going to try and be sneaky coming down to tool options come into brushes and I'm just going to select another brush it's off the recording area anyway but my favorite way to select a brush is bring it over the image right click you then get this fly out menu here you can see there it is default brushes coming down to signature brush there's the size when I select it you can see it is pretty big because we made it big making it large you can make it smaller you can make it bigger so you can apply it to all different size images okay I need to make it just a little bit smaller for this picture so what I'm going to do is just click here and I'm going to reduce it down to oh, that's a bit too small isn't it take it up into this area here would be pretty good now black no let's press X on the keyboard so white is now the foreground color I'm now going to click down and there it is picking up the move tool before I touch down again let's pop this down out of the way we can now move it around on the image but there's a couple of other things I'd like to show you we can head down to styles we can come to right it's on the drop shadow that would be pretty good let's just double click on this one to apply our drop shadow there it is took a little bit of clicking but it's now gone in right let's go back to layers we've got FX click on FX that brings up the style settings bring your cursor out the move tool we can move it around there's the drop shadow I'm going to place the drop shadow just slightly over this area here just picking up the lighting in the image looking at it I have a little bit of an idea let's apply a little bit of bevel so just clicking down as I move this across good way that bevels working there six pixels that looks pretty good we're now going to click on OK clicking down going to move it into position going to place the signature in the bottom right hand corner but it's a bit big so let's use the transform tool again which is command T control T or image transform free transform there it is command T control T and just dropping it down in size to something like this I'll leave it bigger than I usually do and I'm just going to click on the green tick or bring your cursor inside the framework and double click there it is now with the copyright brush you probably just want to keep it plain and simple don't add a drop shadow to it or the the bevel like that but instead place it where you want to place it on the image perhaps even changing the blend mode to something like overlay soft lights reducing down the opacity just to blend it into the image a little bit but there we go I hope you've enjoyed the video give it the thumbs up if you have and don't forget to subscribe as there's plenty more videos to come but until the next time it is happy imaging and take care